I'm going to start this video by taking you guys behind the scenes into one of my active ad accounts to show you the power of a retargeting campaign. So this campaign is a simple video view retargeting campaign. And as you can see, we have the budget set at $3 per day. We spent $81 to make back $387 with an average ROAS of 4.77. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to set up a simple video view retargeting campaign. Now, the reason that these campaigns are so successful is because we're going to be retargeting those people who have already interacted with our ads and have shown interest in our product. And stay tuned for the whole video because at the end, I'm going to be sharing with you the number one secret that I use to make these campaigns even more successful. We're gonna start by creating the audience for our retargeting campaign. So we're gonna to have to come up and select the nine dots. And then we're gonna go ahead and choose audiences. So now once this loads, we're gonna go ahead and select create audience and custom audience. And now since this is just gonna be a simple video view retargeting campaign, we're just gonna select video. And now we're gonna choose only the percentages one at a time. So we're gonna do 25%, 50%, 75%, and 95%. And now we're gonna go ahead and select the video that we're gonna to use to create the retargeting audience. So once you select it, you're gonna click confirm. We're gonna leave it at 365 days. And now we're just gonna name it 25% video view and click create audience, next and done. You can see the audience that we just created here. Now we're gonna go ahead and replicate that exact process for the other three audiences. So we're gonna come back and click audience, custom audience, video view, 50% this time, then we're gonna choose a video again, select it, confirm, and now we're gonna name this one 50% video view. Create audience, next and done. Now we're gonna repeat that same process two more times. These audiences are broken down by the length of time that people spent watching your ads. So as you can see here by the percentages, people who have watched at least 25% of your video, 50% of your video, 75% and 95%. So if it's a 30, 30 second video, these people watched about eight seconds of the video, 50%, 15 seconds, 75%, about 22 seconds and 95% they've almost watched the whole video. So we're gonna continue on here and choose 75% and go through here the same process, 75% video view. And now we're gonna repeat this process one more time for the 95% group, create audience, custom audience. Now the biggest audience are gonna be the, the shorter, um, the smaller percentages. So the 25%, 50%, and as you go up, uh, the size of the audience is gonna decrease because uh, more people are only going to watch uh, 3% or 25% of the video um, than I've watched 95% of the video. So 95% create audience next and done. So now we've gone and we've created all four audiences for our video view retargeting campaign. So now we can go ahead and jump back over into the ads manager to start to build out the campaign. To start, we're gonna go ahead and click Create, Conversions, and Continue. And we're gonna name this campaign Video View Retargeting. And we're gonna leave CBO off because we're gonna set the budget at the ad set level. So now we're gonna come over to the ad set and we're gonna rename this one 25% Video View because that's gonna be the first audience that we're gonna uh, set up. Coming down, the conversion event that we're gonna choose is purchase. Anytime that you're running ads for an e-commerce store, you're always gonna want the conversion event to be purchase, without a doubt. Now, when we set the daily budget, we're gonna keep it really small. It's just gonna be $3. Because the audience size is gonna be small when just starting out and Facebook is gonna spend your money regardless. So you want your budget to match the size of the audience. So if we're only gonna reach about 500 people, we want the budget to be small, so $3 a day is perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and set the ads to start running at midnight. Scroll down again, and we're gonna select the custom audience that we created. So the first one we're gonna do is 25% video view. For the locations, you're just gonna go ahead and select, again, whichever countries you were targeting uh, in your main campaign. So 
we'll just leave it for this example at United States, but typically I target uh, the big five countries and Europe. So United States, Canada, Australia, um, United Kingdom's included in Europe. Uh, so those are the main ones that I target. And I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna turn detailed targeting expansion off. Um, that really doesn't do anything for us in a video view retargeting campaign. So now we're gonna come over to new ad. Now we're gonna use that secret sauce that I was talking to you about in the beginning of this video. We're gonna go ahead and create discount codes inside of our Shopify dashboard that we can use in our ad copy to start to really drive sales with these retargeting campaigns. So let's jump on over to our Shopify dashboard and set those up. From our dashboard, we're gonna go ahead and select discounts and create discount code. Since it's the holiday season, we're gonna go ahead and name it holiday and we're gonna make it a 15% discount code. So we're gonna leave it at holiday 15. So you can do different types of discounts. You can do percentages, fixed amount, free shipping, or buy one, get one. I like to just keep it simple and use percentages. So we're gonna go ahead and put it at 15%. We're gonna do all products, no requirements. Everyone can use it. Um, and we're not gonna set an end date. We're just gonna let it run. So. That's how, that's how simple it is. You're gonna go ahead and click save discount code. And now we're gonna go ahead and grab this discount and we're gonna use it inside of our ad copy in our retargeting campaigns. So now let's jump back over to the ad account. Now we're gonna go ahead and create the ad. So we're gonna scroll down here and select the media that we're gonna use. And it's okay to use the same video as before. You don't really need to get a new ad creative at this point. Um, but I would suggest having multiple ad creatives uh, just so you can put something that's a little bit different and uh, in, in front of the people who have already interacted with the first ad. Um, but it's okay to use the same ad. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Um, primary text, we're gonna say, uh, so this is a bicycle truing stand. Uh, we're gonna say, keep your bike running smoothly with our bicycle truing stand. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw in the discount code. Get 15% off your order using discount code holiday 15. Now I've split tested this uh, many, many times and adding a discount code to your retargeting campaigns really lets them skyrocket. Um, I mean, it's really night and day. Now you're just gonna go ahead and add your website. So this website was luluazul.com. Um, the headline, you could just say get 15% off now. Perfect. So now we can preview our, our ad over here. Keep your bike running smoothly with our bicycle truing stand. Get 15% off your order using discount code HOLIDAY15. That looks perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and duplicate, duplicate this ad set three times. So we're gonna change the number of copies to three and hit duplicate. And all that we need to do now is just switch the title and switch the custom audience for each ad set. So this one will use the 50% audience, scroll down to custom audiences and select 50%. We'll come over to the next one, change it to 75% video view, scroll back down and swap out the audience. And now we'll do the same thing for the last ad set. 95% video view, scroll down and select the audience. So now this campaign is fully set up and ready to go. Come back up to the campaign and we're gonna go ahead and click publish. And since we set, since we scheduled it to start running at midnight, once the ads get approved, uh, they'll start running at midnight throughout the day. And this campaign, I never, I rarely ever touch. I just let it run. As long as I'm running ads for the product, I'll let this thing go. And it will consistently bring in sales uh, day in and day out. And now before I let you go and start creating your retargeting campaigns, I wanted to share with you the free Discord channel that I just created this week where I plan on providing free one-on-one -on -one mentorship to you guys to answer any questions that you have and really start to build a community of successful e-commerce students 
So the link for the Discord channel will be in the description below. Be sure to check that out and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Right.